Entrepreneurship it has a very romantic view. People always think of it as a very glamorous uh, sort of, uh, I guess, job in a way. I think it's like uh, throwing yourself into the deep end versus you know having yourself gradually be put into that area. If you start a drawing because you have an idea or a picture or a landscape that you have in your head and then you, don't fin you finish it halfway, the drive that makes you want to finish that picture is the same drive that an entrepreneur will have. Entrepreneurship uh, is not something you can learn in a classroom. It's really something you just got to do. To me, an entrepreneur is someone who is following their own vision and building it from scratch. It's being able to pull in all these various resources to be able to accomplish that goal. I have to say, it's, it's very difficult to take that first leap. Entrepreneurship is quite a bit risk. A long and uh, torturous path, if you will. It's like you're raising a baby. You have to do every single thing that you don't, you never thought you would do. At times I could be the janitor, the cook, whatever I needed to be on that day, uh, you got to do it. So I think it means that you don't sleep, you forget to eat. Burnout is very common and it could destroy your company. Everyone can aspire to be a, an Elon Musk. But in reality, once you actually start doing it, you realize that it's not that romantic, that it can actually be very lonely. You have a great idea. Everybody has a great idea. But the reality is ideas are cheap. I think we always need to be conscious that entrepreneurs don't have good ideas. Entrepreneurs implement good ideas. It's really, can you take it to that next step? Which is, can you act on all these ideas? Entrepreneurship is counterintuitive. A lot of times you've got to do things that is opposite of what makes sense. You may think, okay, I want to do this one thing, I have this one goal, I want to do a startup, but there's a ton of different things that you're going to realize you have no idea doing. Being an entrepreneur, the toughest challenge is actually not having a boss, right? And that means that whatever you decide to do, it's on you. You, t you have to take accountability for it. It's like, I want to be my own boss. But the reality is that, yeah, you are the owner of the company, but all your customers now are your bosses. First time entrepreneurs, it's a very humbling experience. There are a lot of mistakes we made, it's inevitable. To be an entrepreneur is to take those lessons of, of the failure, right? That experience you've gained and to go and try it again. Some students may decide, I just want to learn these skills and apply them in uh, working for a big company. Just learning that you don't want to do something is just as important as saying that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. If you're driven by challenges, entrepreneurship is definitely for you. But if you're also someone who can be patient and persevere through it, then entrepreneurship is definitely for you. But if you're the kind of person who's scared of taking challenges, you're, you prefer something more stable, something that puts a paycheck in your bank account, but you can still have time for other activities, then entrepreneurship is actually not for you. A lot of people always just find getting a regular job, but if you do have that itch, right, um, I think you're going to regret not scratching that itch sometime down the future. You know, before you know it, you have responsibilities, right? You have wife, kids, you know, everything, a mortgage to pay. You're not going to drop everything and do an entrepreneurship venture or whatever you really wanted to do. Now what drives me is the ability to make change, make change in the world. Whether it's to, well, of course, to my clients, to larger vision things like how can I impact uh, people's lives again. Uh, make them happier or help quality of life in, in some manner. Like there are problems that are out there that needs to be addressed and sometimes you might think it's a problem, sometimes a lot of people will think it's a problem, right? That, and if you are able to address that problem then you have an idea and then you can turn it into a company. Don't be that guy that will always you know wonder in the future what, what would have happened if they did start a startup. You know, just do it. I think especially if you are in your university, right? That's when you're most energetic and that's when you have the least amount of responsibility and that's when you think you can take on the world.